I'm sorry that I couldn't record at the very beginning from since the very beginning, but uh, you please uh, rem remind me when I start the lecture, right? Uh, <clears throat> because uh, I want to upload this one for your later usage, uh, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. But anyway, I can uh, share the slides later on, but uh, I, I could uh, share the uh, lecture itself uh, uh, after, after finishing the lecture series. Right, not now, not right now. Okay, but anyway, so we we we, we will uh, go ahead. Uh, but make sure you remind me at the very beginning, right? If I do not uh, switch on the uh, recording uh, switch. Okay, so these hotspot volcanoes uh, are there, and then uh, the we will uh, uh, see how, where this hotspot volcano is located in the Pacific Ocean, right? Pacific Ocean here, uh, the, Hawa uh, the Hawaiian uh, islands are located, and that is the hotspot volcano uh, located in uh, the, uh, the largest plate, that is the Pacific plate. Pacific plate is the largest plate available, right? So everywhere at the edges of Pacific plate, uh, volcanoes are characterized, you see? So therefore it's called the Pacific Ring of Fire. That's the name of uh, the Ring of Fire, uh, the Pacific plate. Right, so the Japanese islands are here. Right, Japanese islands are here. You can see how uh, how strong the volcanoes and earthquakes uh, prevailing in Japanese islands. Okay, right. So this is uh, about the hotspot volcanoes. And if you uh, if you take a map in the world and uh, check for active volcanoes, active volcanoes means uh, the volcanoes which are operating even now presently right some volcanoes have finished uh, its operation those are called dormant volcanoes but this is active volcanoes uh, so you can you can uh, take a map of the world and see uh, for example here the the yellow markings available here they all show active volcanoes so you can see the active volcanoes are always located uh, along the uh, plate margins. So that is the characteristic feature. So plate margins are here. You can see they are located uh, uh, at plate margin. So here also you can see the uh, volcanoes, but this is the hotspot volcano. Kilauea and Mauna Loa, they are the most uh, uh, dangerous volcanoes in the world, right? That is uh, operated by the mantle plume. Okay. So uh, this is uh, this is about uh, the tectonic processes. Uh, we uh, we can uh, brief it again. Uh, so I will go back to uh, the beginning. Uh, so the mantle connection caused uh, all these tectonic movements, as uh, we discussed at from the very beginning. Uh, the oceanic plates, uh, the crust, the the Earth's crust is fragmented. As I said, uh, these fragments can be moving. Uh, due to mantle uh, upwelling or the mantle convection, right? So they cause uh, orogeny, that means mountain building at the end of the day. Uh, when the subduction completes, oceanic plate disappear, and then two continental plates will collide together, right? So that is what we call the orogeny, the mountain building process. So uh, we have uh, the continental drift theory, which was uh, discovered by Alfred Wegener at the, uh, some time ago. Uh, <clears throat> by locating fossils, right? Similar, similarly available fossils, plants and uh, animal remnants, or not actually remnants, they are imprints on rocks, right? They are just like a seal uh, recorded in rocks. Uh, they never uh, get uh, degraded away. You can, uh, you can keep it for, 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 for very, very long period of time unless it is physically damaged. Uh, so, uh, the different supercontinents were formed due to this continental drifting. Uh, Rodinia is one of those, and then Gondwana and uh, Pangaea. Even uh, before Rodinia, there was one called Colombia, right? But uh, mostly studied one because uh, the rocks uh, belonging to such supercontinents are available from Rodinia, uh, Gondwana, and Pangaea only, right? Colombia uh, supercontinent was very ancient, uh, about 3000 million years ago. 
uh, so their remnants are not available now so that's why we couldn't uh, we, we cannot uh, study much in detail so these uh, processes are always associated with closure of oceans and opening of oceans uh, so that's why we have uh, found new oceans and previous oceans were uh, disappearing also right uh, for example there was one ocean called uh, paleo pacific ocean somewhere here uh, somewhere here uh, ocean was there during the gondwana time but now it is disappeared now what we have is a uh, new pacific ocean which was open in this uh, about 200 uh, or 150 million years ago right here yeah. 100 uh, 200 million years ago like the new pacific ocean open uh, this is due to uh, supercontinent uh, configurations okay right so we have convergent plate boundaries and uh, divergent plate boundaries so that means uh, collision uh, convergent plate boundaries is a collision continent continent uh, con uh, oceanic oceanic collision like uh, uh, different configurations right mount everest was formed uh, due to uh, this uh, continent continent collision right himalayas uh, it was a, a large mountain built even now present day you can see uh, some compression taking place there and then we discuss about divergent plate boundaries mid ocean ridges are uh, examples iceland is a very good example for a divergent plate boundary okay Right, and then uh, we talked about the uh, volcanism in the world, different types of volcanism, uh, and geochemistry can help us to identify all these uh, 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 the tectonic settings. Okay, so hotspots and uh, Pacific Ring of Fire uh, we discussed in detail. So present day volcanism available in the world. Okay, so this is uh, this is what we have to discuss today. So, if uh, do you have any questions? Uh, are the plumes always from the core or from the mantle? Yes, yes, yes. core mantle boundary actually. It's not from the core itself, it's from the core and mantle boundary at the boundary zone. But from the, the normal volcanoes, it is from the mantle. Right? Yes, okay. upper mantle. It's from the asthenosphere, upper mantle region. Okay, thank you. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, we covered the earth structure and then uh, earth's processes. So depending uh, the time prevailing, so we will discuss uh, more topics uh, under the uh, current module. So most probably we will meet uh, one more time uh, the next week. And uh, after that also we will have some other topics uh, to discuss, right? So uh, I don't know whether Dr. Dharmapi has uh, uh, sent you the schedule. Uh, so we will see uh, how, with time how uh, we can proceed with uh, your lecture uh, modules. Uh, depending on the availability of different lecturers, uh, different modules will be taken taken up. Okay. Right. So if you have any questions, so please uh, share uh, those questions to me uh, by email or so. Uh, <clears throat> later on, uh, I will uh, I will upload these uh, uh, lectures. Uh, uh, I will provide you the links as well, right? So anyway, we will discuss more details later on, right? For today, uh, let me uh, wind up from now. Okay, thank okay. you. Sir. Have a nice day. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.